Hey everyone, Savu here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create an endless looping parallax effect for your game. Let's jump into it. The first thing you will need is a background suitable for the parallax effect. Here you see one I have created for one of my own games. Notice here that each layer of the image represents a different depth layer of the background. That means that you have to export them separately and import them into Unity as different images, exactly like I did in this example. Next, we will create a 3D quad game object and resize it so that it fits the whole screen. Now, we just have to duplicate it as often as the number of images the background consists of. When done, select all quads and reset the X, Y and Z positions to zero. Starting from the top one, assign a big Z value number for the position and decrease it for each next quad game object. In my example, I started with 6 and decreased each time by 1. Right now, you won't see any difference, but switching off the 2D view, you will see that each layer is placed one behind another. And that's exactly what we want to achieve. Now that we have set up the scene, it's actually time to assign the images. Select all sprite assets and change the texture type to default. Let's start from the top quad, which is also the deepest layer of our background and assign our textures. Doing that, we'll create new material assets, which you can find under the materials folder, which is created by itself. Continue with the same process for each quad and assign the textures. You may wonder why you still see dark and black colors instead of your image. With an easy step, we will fix this right now. Select all materials in the material folder and change the shader to unlit transparent. And here it is, your background should be displayed perfectly. The last step here is to select all textures and change the wrap mode to repeat. Don't forget to click apply. The result of that are endless looping textures, which we are going to code right now. Let me first change the aspect ratio of the view and resize the quads. Now this is exactly how I want it to look like when playing the game. Create a new empty game object and name it background. This game object will be the parent of all our quads and will handle the scrolling effect. Time for a little bit of coding. Create a new C sharp script and name it for example parallax. Open it up and follow along. The first thing we need is a public float texture speed that is responsible for the scrolling speed effect. We want to set the range of the speed from 0 to 1 and with this line of code it will be displayed in the inspector as a slider. Now in the update function we are going to get the renderer component and set the texture offset of the material. The first input here is the default name ID of the texture, which should be string main text. The second input is a vector2 value, which is going to scroll our texture based on the texture speed. We are going to achieve this by getting again the texture offset of main text and adding a new vector2 with an x value of the texture speed. Finally, just multiply with time.delta time and save your script. Back in Unity, select all your quad game objects and assign the parallax script we just created. Now each layer of the background has its own speed, which you can simply adjust with a slider inside of the inspector window. Finding the right speed for each layer is just a matter of testing and personal preference. The only rule you should follow is that starting from the back and deepest layer of the background, the texture speed should be increasing as you approach layers near the camera. For example, the trees that are far behind can have a texture speed from 0.05, whereas the trees near us can have a texture speed from 0.2, which is slightly bigger. Now we are finally done and ready to test our parallax effect. I really love the result. Each layer is moving nice and has a great texture speed value. Of course, you can play around with the speed in real time and see what best matches for your game. And that's it, we successfully created 
a really great looking parallax effect for our 2D game. Hope you had a great time. Consider smashing the like and subscribe buttons. I would appreciate it so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!